Nickelodeon has been a powerhouse in family-friendly TV since its start in 1977, with some of their larger shows like SpongeBob SquarePants becoming household names and one of my personal favorites. However, some shows and projects have become lost over time. Today, I'm going to cover 10 pieces of Nickelodeon lost media. Very Aggressive Vegetables is a series of 30-second animated shorts made by Fudge Puppy that aired on Nickelodeon UK in the late 90s. The show depicted vegetables getting revenge on kids that insulted them. Six shorts are known to exist, but only five of them have been found. The one that is still at large is known as Zucchini. The six shorts were once on Nickelodeon's website, but a glitch caused them to be unplayable, and the pages have since been deleted. Nickelodeon Splat was a short-lived game show airing during the summer of 2004. It played between shows and had players separated into four teams based on their birth months, along with audience participation. Contestants would have to do funny tasks to win prizes, and we do know that the yellow team won some kind of prize at the end of the season. The show became notable for being the last show to be filmed in Nickelodeon's Florida studios that closed in 2005. The only known footage of the series, however, can be seen in a clip montage from Austin Scott or in a reel about the show. Cat Dog Saving Mean Bob is a cancelled action video game for the original PlayStation and PC, based on the popular cartoon Cat Dog. There isn't that much information about the game, but we do know that Robert Lemoreau was working on this game while also working on Cat Dog Quest for the Golden Hydrant, by the development company Nowhere and published by Hasbro Interactive. It's not known if a prototype or any kind of demo exists since the game seemed to be cancelled when Hasbro Interactive was sold to Infogrames in January of 2001. There had to be some progress on the game though, as there is a blockbuster page for it in some Billboard magazine promotion. Our Real Monsters was an animated series that aired on Nickelodeon from 1994 to 1997. Before the show was premiered, the show's production company, and I'm going to apologize now if I say this incorrectly, Klasky Cuspo created a pitch pilot for the series. Not many details are known about this pilot, but some changes were made from the actual series. The Gromble was known as the Womble, but it was changed so that it didn't get confused with the Womble's TV show. The pilot is said to be the same as the episode The Switching Hour, but it's unknown how many differences there are. Only a few low-quality screenshots and a small promo contained footage for the short, but the promo was unfortunately taken down. SpongeBob SquarePants is one of Nickelodeon's largest successes, depicting the life of a sponge fry cook on his adventures in the underwater town of Bikini Bottom. Through the show's 21-year run, some scenes have been edited out or cut. In the episode Doing Time, Tom Kenny was given credit for voicing Mrs. Puff's father, even though he never appeared in the episode or anywhere else in the series. It's not known what exists of this character other than Tom Kenny's dialogue was recorded. In Plankton, a scene depicting a naked Squidward was cut for obvious reasons, even though Squidward has appeared naked in other episodes. The episode Something Smells had Squidward say the line ugly and smelly two for one cut because it was said as the show faded to black, making it unnecessary. Those are only some of the lost Spongebob content, and I doubt we'll be able to find it all, but some has been found. But I hope we continue to find more. Gruff's Groove Box was a claymation music series that aired on Nickelodeon in Australia, South Korea, and Southeast Asia. It revolved around a dog named Gruff and his band Kitty Litter, playing songs that were requested, read fan mail, and interview celebrities. The series is most famous for being ripped off the air in Malaysia after the ruling king's death to follow their tradition of no upbeat music for a month after the king's death. No footage of the show has turned up anywhere online, but on a website archive of Australia's Nickelodeon 2001, the show had a webpage where you could send them fan mail and share pet news. Me and My Friends is a lost pilot created in 1998 for Nickelodeon, and the show was never picked up and was changed into the animated show The Backyardigans. There are some differences between this lost pilot and the show. Some characters such as the meerkats appear to have been scrapped, and Austin the kangaroo is absent. There are also a few minor differences between the other main characters, like Pablo's propeller is yellow instead of red, or that Tyrone's shirt has yellow and blue stripes instead of blue and red. The only known footage of the short is in a five-minute video created by former Nickelodeon Studios crew members for their 10th anniversary in 2000. Game Farm was a short-lived series on Nickelodeon's Game and Sports for Kids. It was hosted by Anne Hu and Max Darwin in 2003. 
In the show, contestants would play online games, and whoever won the round would face the Gaminator in the final round. It's unknown how many episodes exist, but only two episodes and some promotional material has surfaced. The Gas segment was a one-hour block of Nickelodeon programming with game shows like Double Dare, Guts, Figure It Out, and of course, Game Farm, along with video game news and sketches. Gas went off the air in 2007, even though the original programming was taken off the lineup in 2005 to let older shows rerun instead, causing many of the former shows to fall into obscurity and become lost. Two episodes of Game Farm were uploaded by Unlone Nickelodeon in 2012, and some promos were uploaded in 2010 by Josh Lieberman and Jay Gonascar. Wienervale is a puppet show that aired on Nickelodeon from July 1993 to February 1996 and created by Mark Wiener. Even though the series had received many award nominations and a lot of positive acclaim, the show ended after two seasons. After the popularity of the show died down and some copyright issues, episodes of the show have been very hard to come by. Nickelodeon hasn't aired any reruns of Wienervale since 1997. Wienervale was based on a fictional town of puppets, and it also had many different segments like a Double Dare-inspired Playland, or playing classic cartoons like Popeye or The Alvin Show. Of the 62 known episodes of Wienervale, 24 have yet to surface. In 2008, 26 episodes were uploaded to YouTube. The election special was available for a short time, but became lost again until a Daily Motion upload was found in 2018. Cat Scratch is an animated series created by Doug Tenaple that aired on Nickelodeon and Nicktoons in 2005, and in Nickelodeon UK and Ireland in 2006. In 2004, though, a pilot was produced that featured different character designs. The plot of the episode was unknown, but it's allegedly about the cats going to a toy store and meeting human Kimberly. The pilot hasn't resurfaced to this day, but there is a promo that can be found on YouTube and uploaded on Tenaple's own YouTube channel. There are 10 pieces of Nickelodeon's lost media. Nickelodeon was one of my favorite channels growing up, and I had a lot of fun finding these pieces to cover. Thanks for watching, and if you want to, leave a like and subscribe, or you know, whatever, you don't have to if you don't want to. Leave a comment down below if there's anything you want me to cover, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.